in a lot of uh, emerging Southeast Asia markets whereby uh, there is a large population of unbanked. Right, you know, so traditionally they don't have access to traditional banking, you know, uh, services or the ecosystems. But then, you know, the digital banks and the e-wallets come in to really plug that gap, you know, and, and that's why the e-wallets are able to really take off. So if let's say e-wallet, for example, like Gcash, right, can facilitate, you know, the buyer and seller, and then they become like, you know, the custodian of all these funds, you know, sitting between the buyer and seller, then it makes it very easy, you know, for the uh, buyer or seller to then actually adopt it as also a payment method, you know, for their daily lives, right? You know, so, and trust can be built along the way because it started off with microtransactions, you know, microtransactions, micro loans, you know, build up the uh, the consumer behavior, consumer, uh, consumer confidence, you know, and then it becomes a habit, it becomes a pattern. I would say more innovative uh, e-wallets, right? You know, they are actually using social media profile, right, you know, to do credit scoring, you know, because how, how can you then, you know, credit score uh, your consumers, you know, if let's say they do not have a credit history before,